Hello, Aaron, your guitar friend here. Welcome to today's episode, Tuning Your Guitar. For, for today's episode, you're going to need one of these. It's an electronic guitar tuner. See that? I've had this for 12 years. It's never stopped working. It runs on a 9-volt battery. And it was, uh, it's, it's a Korg AT2. It was uh, made in Taiwan. Okay, so, how these things work is, they have a little microphone in them. And when it hears a sound, it tells you what note that sound is. And basically, I can demonstrate that by first getting a note in my head with my piano. That was an E. And now I can sing into this. E, E, E. And you can see the light flashed. Now, <clears throat> what the light told me was what note it heard. And then the little needle went left or right, telling me if the note was too low, the needle is left, or too high, the needle is right. So, basically when you tune your guitar, you want to get each string to match a specific note on the piano. Okay? And this is just something you have to do whenever you want to play a guitar, so that it sounds right. If your guitar is out of tune, it won't matter how well your form is or how well you play, it just won't sound good. So with that, without any further ado, we'll start tuning the guitar. Now you need to know the names of the notes that each string corresponds to. So you might want to get a pencil and a paper and write this down. That's The first note is E. And I can see right now my tuner is telling me it's lighting up E and the needle is perfectly in the center. Now most guitar tuners also have a little indicator to tell you when it's perfectly in the center. So when it's too far to the, when the needle to the left, I'll get a little arrow telling me that the needle needs to go to the right. And when it's too far to the right, conversely, the little arrow on the tuner tells me, oh, it's, it's too high, you've got to go to the left. So the first note is E, and it's in tune. Let's assume that it was out of tune. Did you hear that? It's now low. And the, the guitar tuner is telling me it's too low. Now, the way to make a note go higher or lower on the guitar is very simple, but it's something you have to understand. Each string is, you can follow it up the neck of the guitar, and you can see that it's connected to a little knob. Every guitar is the same like this. So, the little knob makes the string get tighter, and thus the pitch get higher. Now I'm retuning the string by twisting the knob, and now I've got it back in tune. A little tip is you always want to tune the guitar up to the note. So if you, if you had it too high, if, if you played and your tuner told you, hey, that's, that E is a little too high, you'd want to bring the note down below the note and then tune up to it. That's just a little idiosyncrasy of the way guitars work. If you tune it down, it'll tend to fall out of tune. But if you tune it up to the note, the tension will stay, stay constant in the string longer. Another note is that new guitars, if you just bought your guitar, they're going to be out of tune and they're going to be very out of tune. So it's going to take a little more effort to get your guitar in tune initially. And also, at the beginning, your strings, when their strings are new, the guitar will fall out of tune more. Okay, so basically what we said is the first note of this, the first top string needs to be an E. And I've got that down. So you might want to write that down. The top, top string here, the lowest note is an E. The second note is an A. And I've got that. And my guitar is in tune with the A. It's a little high, so I'm going to bring it down. And now I'm going to tune up to the A. Now my A is good. And I can verify that by playing an A on my piano here. Hear that? And it's the same. Now in the perfect world, you'd never have to tune your guitar. And like my digital piano here, I can play that until I'm blue in the face. It would always sound the same. But because the guitar is an analog device as opposed to a digital device, it is not like that. The temperature in the room can make the strings go out of sync. 
Um, just playing it can make the guitar go out of tune. You basically need to tune your guitar every time you play. Let's go to the next note. The third string from the top is a D. And that's telling me that it's a little low, the needle's swinging a little to the left. So I'm going to find the uh, knob corresponding to this string by looking all the way up and finding the knob. I'm going to twist it up to a D. And I can hear that it matches, matches the uh, D on my piano. So now we have E, A, D. Now we go to G, the fourth string from the top. That Now my tuner's telling me it's a little high, so I tune it down below and I bring it up. A G. Perfect. Now the B. The next note is a B, and it's perfectly in tune. Now, for you people that have electric guitars, you're going to find that the B string is constantly falling out of tune with new strings. I don't know why that is, it, it just is. So then we go to the E string. Now that, you might note that it's also the same as the top string, the lowest note. because the top and bottom strings of the guitar are the same note, simply an octave apart. And if you don't know what an octave is, that's okay. We're not going to be talking about music theory in this, in this video series. So, basically, the goal is to get your strings to match E, A, D, G, B, and E. And, we're gonna, and you're going to do that using an electric guitar tuner, just like this one you have here in front of you. And basically, that's all there is to tuning a guitar. It's that simple. Now, um, I thought about this, and if you want an easy way to remember the strings uh, from top to bottom, you can think of it as eat a dog, good boys eat. Eat a dog good boys eat. That's the best I could come up with. Well, next time when we uh, join together again in this Aaron Your Guitar Friend series, I'll be teaching you how to hold a guitar the proper way and how to play strings in a nice fashion such that it sounds nice and uh, all your... We're going to talk about how you want to keep a nice relaxed position while you play. So see you next time. Signing off, this is Aaron, your guitar friend.